So Max and his, well, I guess there's no other word for it, slave, go looking around the neighborhood to see if they can find his father again. At some point, his pants fall. I don't know why. I guess it's supposed to be funny, haha. -ha. And they end up at his father's place again. Here, they come across an intimidating bodyguard. This isn't a toy store. Unless you want to play my game. Of course, what they don't show you in this scene is his face right afterwards. So Max finally locates his father once again, and, as suspected, he's a douche. Let this kid in here. What's this, an amusement park? <laughs> <laughs> amusement park. But once his dad finds out that he literally produced him, he changes his tone a bit. Hey, everybody, quiet down, quiet down. Check this out. This is my boy, Max from the tail. Hey, I'm out there. I'm a deputy dad. Woo -hoo. So the father invites Max to his hot, sexy nightclub, because that's the perfect place for a ten-year-old, where Kazam starts to dig those groovy, funky beats. Ooh, who's the cutie over there? From another planet. Don't just stare. Come over here and let me see you jiggy jiggy jam it. Don't encourage him. You'll jiggy jiggy regret it. What if they don't like me? They really don't like you. The question is, what are you gonna do? Sit down and hum quietly? Get set for my tet a tet tet cause I am Kazan. Who man? I'm more than I see and you all are looking at your dream. In your coffee, I'm the queen. Oh, come on, Vanilla Ice was blacker than this. Let's green egg and ham it. What? Let's green egg and ham it. What is this, Seuss Doggy Dog? I mean, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's something an infant says when he's just learning how to read. Never in my life have I ever seen something so stupid. Meanwhile, we come across a guy who has thick eyebrows, so obviously he must be the villain. He's interested in the magic gold flashy stuff that comes out of Shaq's boombox. He quickly realizes that he's a genie and tries to use Max's father as a way of controlling him. Meanwhile, Max is back home sleeping when... Oh my god. OH MY GOD! BAD TOUCH! 911 emergency! There's a tall man who's been stalking this kid, giving him treats, and now he's touching him while in his bed and wearing his pajamas! Hooray! Kill me, puffer! That's right, kid! Fight him! Fight him! Ah! Smelling like hippopotamus butt. Oh my god! Now he's bathing in front of him! There's no telling what he's gonna do next! Hurry! So after that bit of I don't want to know what, Kazam comes out and introduces himself as Max's new tutor. Cause he really looks like your traditional egghead, doesn't he? He then indulges in yet another pointless scene where he makes French toast fly. That's sad when the breakfast is the best actor in the movie. Yeah. He then goes outside to talk to Kazam about how him and his father are not really connecting. What's like the worst thing you've ever seen in your life? Audience? This movie! But rather than talk about their problems, Kazam decides he wants to do something better. Rap about them. I did have this friend in the thousand BC. We <sighs> so that's the whole you know, guys, um, I was thinking, rather than succumbing to what's the popular norm, I was, um, thinking maybe you could have a, um, a real conversation. Uh, you know, and nothing too deep, but uh, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, this is a possibility. Maybe there's a deep personal pain that, uh, you don't want to acknowledge that maybe you... Things different. I'm talking about Jin. Jin? What's a Jin? <sighs> Jin is free. Jin could do anything. Problem is, Jin only exists in fairy tales. And I don't believe in fairy tales. Wait, what? Jin only exists in fairy tales. And I don't believe in fairy tales. The genie doesn't believe in fairy tales. The genie doesn't believe in fairy tales. Hello! Something's wrong. Ah, screw it. Let's just move on with the flick. Max sees his father get beat up by senior thick brows and calls on Kazam for his help. Kazam! Kazam! I gotta make a wish. What are you doing? Get off the table. Kazam, I need a wish, okay? Right now? No, in 250 years, stupid. I need a table. Time out! What the hell is up with that glass of water thing? Wait, he was in a glass 
of water, and suddenly, boom, he's on the table. I mean, what? Why did that happen? Is it like Super Mario Brothers? Is it a warp song? I mean, what the? You know what? Forget it. Fine. Let's just move on. The movie will be over faster that way. So anyway, rather than help Max with his problem, Kazan got a recording deal as a professional rapper. I'm dead serious. I guess his hit single, I Can Jam With Sam I Am, went straight to the top. Meanwhile, the bastard son of Mario and Saddam Hussein kidnaps the kid and takes possession of his boombox. He then gives the kid the shaft and summons Kazam to his warehouse, where he demands him to do all his evil bidding. Kazam is powerless to stop his new master. <laughs> but wait a minute. Bite it, Kazam! Bite it! You can do it, Kazam! You can break free from the white man's chains! He's gonna go shat foo on your asses! In typical basketball all-star fashion, he personally slam dunks the villain into a garbage can. But unfortunately, it's too late. Little Max, it appears, is dead. There's nothing to do now but mock this emotionally lacking moment with totally inappropriate music. I've ever had. And when you needed me the most, I wasn't there. Yeah, you were a bit of a douche, Kazam. I just wish I could have granted your wish. I wish I could have filled your heart. Well, life's a bitch and then little kids die. Oh, of course he doesn't die, because Kazam realizes the value of human life, or something like that. He is free from his bonds and able to breathe life back into little Max. You're alive! You're alive! He's kissing him! What more do you need? So Shaq brings Max back to life, turns into... this thing, and reunites him back with his father. On top of that, he also becomes human, which means... You're getting a job. A job? <laughs> a job? He can't get a job! He's a genie! <laughs> That's pretty out there! <laughs> And that's why I have no doubt that Citizen Kane is one of the worst films of all time. No, 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 there's another movie that's called Kazam! No, 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 I you keep that on, he was a genie! I swear to God, he was a rapping genie! He was a butt of the kid! I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember, so you don't have to. I swear to God, he was a genie, he was rapping to Dr. Seuss! Cause I am Kazam! Who may? I'm more than I see him, you all are looking at your dream. You like popsicles?